Oh, hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, I'm so glad that you found me. I hope you subscribe and stay and hang out and join my weird little witchy tarot family. Um, yesterday on my other channel, Southern Stratus Studies, I unboxed the Stranger Things Tarot and I ended up doing a three card pull for all the signs and nobody watched it. So I'm chopping it up today and doing individual videos so that you guys can all see it all 30,000 something of you guys. I still can't believe that. Um, also, I made a very important video about the rest of October's astrology leading up to the eclipses. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description box below. Please go watch that video. It is so important. Um, this Pluto in Capricorn transit that we're about to go through into Aquarius is really crazy energy. And I just wanted you guys to be aware of it. So check that out. Also, if you wanted to book a personal reading, I am running a bunch of really good specials for the month of October, including a shadow work reading. I only do shadow work in the month of October. So if you want a shadow work reading from me, you need to book it now because it will not be available again until next year. Anyways, here we go. Let's get started with your reading. Um, enjoy your little taste of the Stranger Things tarot and happy spooky season. Love you guys. Bye. All right, let's move on to Aries. All right, what's going on with Aries? Aries, I'm gonna spell your name. A, R, I, E, Aries, let's get it on. Ooh, Four of Swords is the issue here. Why do I feel like you're taking too long? Too much recuperation time, Aries. Yeah, Two of Swords. In the reverse here. That's your advice. Stop sitting in this energy. Stop overanalyzing. You got Two of Pentacles in the reverse for what you should not do. On the bottom of everything is the king of spokes, the king of cups in the reverse. You got your feelings hurt, Aries. The bottom of everything is the king of cups in reverse. This is somebody who's emotionally manipulative. This is somebody who doesn't express their feelings correctly. This is somebody who is um, either withholding of love or um, overbearing with love. It's somebody who doesn't love properly. It's somebody who is mean for the sake of being mean. It's somebody who preys on people with good hearts. You, um, the, the issue here is that you're still trying to get over that. You're still trying to recover from that. You're still trying to process either why this person treated you so unkindly or why it is that you feel like, you know, the two of you could not open up to each other the way that you should have. You've been dwelling on this for a very long time. You've set up shop here. The issue is that you have been hermit mode for too long. All right. The advice that they're giving you is very clear. Two of swords in the reverse. Quit over analyzing. Quit trying to figure out why this happened. Quit trying to get to the bottom of everything. You read like a Gemini with this. It's like you can't process why this pain happened or why these actions happened or why a lot of you guys did something that you regret and you can't understand why you acted in such an immature way. All right. It goes both ways. Either someone did this to you or you did that to them. What they want you to stop doing, all right, the advice that they're giving you is two of swords in reverse to just get over it. You know, make a choice. You have to pick one direction or another. You can't sit in limbo anymore. Two of Swords energy is about sitting in limbo. Four of Swords energy is sitting in limbo. You're laying down in a coffin, like trying to sleep on this sort of truth. And like, all you can think about is the pain. You can't get out of your little hole. Like you need to get out of the hole. They want you out of the hole. Cut yourself free from whatever this mental prison is that you're sitting in. It's emotional pain. It's emotional trauma. And it's like a need to be able to be able to express your emotions like in a very appropriate way, in a very true way. What they do not want you to do is two of pentacles in the reverse here. They don't want you to just tap out. They don't want you to give up. They don't want you to feel like you don't have any options. They don't want you, you know, just shutting down. They don't want you to give up. All right. So all I can say, they also don't want you to think that, you know, you're too much. I don't know why I have to say that. Like you're not too much. Don't feel that way. Don't feel like you're too much or that a relationship is too much. 
or that you can't handle it or that it's going to throw you off balance. I feel you fearing that, all right? All right, let's read your cards here. The Four of Dice. Let's give you your book message. Four of Dice Upright as your main issue here. It says cooperative play can be wonderful, but sometimes what you really need is a break. Go see a movie at Starcourt Mall, hit up the arcade or read some comic books. Whatever you do, the Four of Dice insists that you reclaim time for yourself. Solo adventures can help clear your mind, quiet your body and leave you refreshed and ready for the next dungeon crawl. Problem is, is you've been in that energy for too long. Y'all are like distracting yourselves with video games or distracting yourself with reading or, you know, sleeping too much or just refusing to use like checking out mentally instead of like making active decisions to do something. Um, your advice is the two of dice, which is the two of swords. And it was in the reverse for you. It says your emotions are on high alert, making you extra sensitive to any misunderstandings. This can also mean that you aren't thinking clearly and are more susceptible to making rash decisions. Before you do anything drastic, sit out a few turns and return to the game with a clear head. They want you back in the game. They want you to clear your head. They want you to stop fixating on whatever this is that you're doing with this four of swords and put yourself back out there. Try again. I just got Aaliyah. Dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again. Yeah, if at first you don't succeed. Dust yourself off and try again. Yeah, rip Aaliyah. What time was Aaliyah? I don't even know. Somebody look that up. Put it in the comments. Two of scoops in the reverse. This is what you should not be doing, all right? It says, when upside down, this card speaks to you of creating structure. As you incorporate something new into your life, you are going to need intentionally um, need to intentionally reassess and prioritize the other needs in your life. Avoid shortchanging your relationships as you need love and support along the way. I feel like this is you being overly indulgent is what I feel like with that card. They don't want you to create structure. I feel like this is almost like the hermit when I see this four of swords here. Like you become so accustomed to being alone that it's like a routine. They don't want you in that routine, all right? They want you mixing things up, all right? All right, Aries, that was you guys. Let's move on to Taurus. All right, what is going on? Aries, you ended at 1414, like on the nose. Temperance energy. Balance, work, and play. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Shout out to the shining. You'll go crazy getting in that crazy, you know, being alone. You need human interaction, some of you. A lot of you are also distracting yourself with a bunch of, you know, frivolous human interaction. Not meaningful human contact. Just, you know, throw away. You get my drift on that. 